Hey guys, take a minute with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to factory reset or delete everything on your iPhone 12. This method is going to delete all the apps, videos, photos, contact, documents, music, everything that you had back to factory default. And you'll be able to, after this, either sell, give away, or trade in your phone without any issues as it will erase everything that you had all of your personal information but before we dive into today's video if you guys are new to our channel we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways so make sure that like and subscribe button so let's show you guys how you're going to do this the first thing before you even think about factory resetting your iphone 12 it's going to be simply that you back up your device, whether you back it up through your iCloud or through iTunes on your computer. You want to make sure you have a backup. It's really important because once you do this, you will not be able to recover. Even Apple won't be able to help recover your data. So before we proceed any further, that's going to be the biggest thing you want to do. And to make sure that you're backed up, you can simply, if you're signed in already, most likely your name is going to show up. You can click over here and then click on iCloud and you'll notice here for the iCloud whatever is being backed up on your iCloud it's going to show you what's being backed up and you'll notice all of that information and then if you go down here where it says iCloud backup it's going to say whether it's turned on or not and then you want to click on backup so it backs it up and this might take some um, few minutes or so depending on how it is you want to make sure you're connected to power and it's locked and it's on Wi-Fi so once you do that it's gonna back up things like accounts document configurations and much more and the other backup you want to do it's most likely it's gonna be plug it into your computer download this app called iTunes which is free to download and then it will back it up automatically by a simple instruction that you can follow through or check out the videos that we did for it as well there's going to be a link down in the description section and after you have done backing it up now that you know that you can recover your data or if you moved everything over to a new phone it's time to do the factory reset and to do that it's simply going to be in settings here and once you're in settings the thing that you want to do is actually go ahead and sign out of your iCloud account. This step is really important because you don't want to be signed in here because the next person, if you're signed in and try to reset it, it's going to reset it, but then it's going to ask for your ID and information again, and the it'll become iCloud or activation lock. So you're going to simply come here, here, click on that sign out button, and once you get the sign out, you're going to have to put in your password for your account. So here we're going to go ahead and put a password for our account here. So for our demo account here, we put in the password and then we're going to click on that turn off. So we're going to click on that. So once you do that, you still make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. It's going to ask you if you want to keep a copy of that in your iCloud account. We're simply going to hit sign out, hit that sign out button and it's going to start. Sometimes it might ask for a verification code if you have two factor on so you might get uh, verification to your email or another phone if you're signed in so make sure you do that and once you signed out it's gonna say sign into your iPhone you're gonna get to a menu like this and that means you're completely signed out but everything's still there like your iCloud um, photos videos and apps are gonna be still there you're gonna want to now do the actual reset itself which is gonna be in settings again this time we're gonna go to general and then you're gonna want to go all the way down where it's this time you'll see option for reset click on reset and then you'll notice a bunch of options here you're going to want to select the second option which says erase all content and settings this is the one you want to select once you select that you'll get the first warning where it lets you know again all the media data and all of your settings will be completely erased once you click on that so we're going to click on erase and this is going to be the final warning or final message before you do that. As you know, this cannot be undone. It will erase all of your photos, videos, apps, personal information, anything whatsoever you had, your documents, notes. So know that you backed up or transfer everything over to another device before you do that. So once you're confident that you have backed it up, you're going to want to click on erase iPhone. And once you do that, you'll notice that you get the Apple logo with this loading bar and it kicked off the process for a factory reset deleting everything that you have your phone that will not be recoverable and the phone it's going to be at the factory setting and you're completely clear to 
you give away the phone, trade it in, sell it, whatever the case is, the next person that uses it won't have any lock or anything to worry about. They can simply create their own account and information and start doing all of that. And since you backed up your device, either through iCloud or iTunes, your information, you can put it on a new device without any worry. As you'll see, this is gonna pop up multiple times at Apple logo. It's gonna take some time, depending on how much your data that you had. For example, if you had maybe tens or even 100 gig or so, it's gonna take you maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, depending on, because there's so much the phone has to delete. But if you used up maybe 20 or 30 gig, maybe it's not as much, it's going to be much quicker. So this is going to be very dependent on how much data that you had stored that the phone has to delete. And again, once it's deleted, it's going to be take us to the main screen or the hello screen where you first initially get when you buy a phone and start it up. So hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. If this video is helpful and you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And as you can see, finally we get the hello button. The factory has been done and the next person will have to go ahead and start setting this up on their own. This is the screen you want to do and you don't want to set it up any longer. So there you guys have it. Hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. If this video was simple and helpful, again, make sure that like and subscribe button. See you guys next time.